All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this blog. Here to continue with my previews of the ACC conference for the 2015 college football season. For this blog, I'm here to talk about the Hokies of Virginia Tech. This is Frank Beamer's 29th season as head coach, and this team has been to continue to do a good job defensively. But their offense is going to have to step up this year, starting with quarterback and Michael Brewer. He had 2,692 yards passing last season 18 touchdowns and 15 interceptions needs to do a better job protecting the football and doing a better job as far as his decision making and lower the, that interception mark this upcoming season now last year they did win their bowl matchup in the military bowl against Cincinnati and they're looking to continue things on with a good year this upcoming season and now as far as the receivers there is one player that I do like in Isaiah Ford the sophomore I think he will make all ACC honors this upcoming season at least second team at the end of the year. He's a good weapon to throw to for a Michael Brewer and I think that Michael Brewer will look in his direction a lot this year. He did lead the team in receiving with um, over 700 yards. Now let's talk about the defense who allowed just 20 points per game which is 14th in the nation and they have a couple of players returning that I do like. Starting with two seniors and they both made second team all honors on the defensive side of the ACC conference. Starting with defensive end and Dondi, uh, Adadi uh, Nicholas, who had nine sacks last season, and defensive tackle Corey Marshall. Now, Corey Marshall is just 267 pounds, but he does cause problems in that line of scrimmage. He needs to bulk up a little bit or even switch to defensive end in order to, to wow more prospects for the 2016 NFL Draft. He is a good prospect, but more, I, pro I think he will be a better fit at the defensive end position if he increases his speed, unless he bulks up in weight, but I do see him being as a more 3-4 defensive end um, in the National Football League. And let's not forget about their first team and star player, Kendall Fuller. One of the Fuller brothers, they actually, he actually has four brothers who either played or are still playing in the National Football League. And some say he is the best Fuller of the four brothers. He's a junior entering the season. 14 pass breakups last season and two interceptions. First team all honors in the ACC. And I do see him as an All-American at the end of this season. This is going to be a very interesting year. Just like Virginia, Virginia Tech needs to do a better job on the offensive side. Michael Brewer, I think he could be due for a decent season. Just need to do a better job in lowering the interception mark this upcoming season. And I think this, this team could be back to become contenders in the ACC Conference. Now this year, oh, um, I actually um, I have to talk about the incoming freshman. I just I almost forgot about that. They do pick up they did pick up some good recruits. Starting with the number 5 quarterback and Dwayne Lawson. Good player. 6'4", 200 pounds. As well as defensive tackle Tim Settle. Settle and now, according to ESPN, they actually rated him the number four defensive tackle coming out of high school. He's six foot three, three hundred and thirty nine pounds. This is a very uh, and this and this is actually a, a good a big boy here, and this is actually a good situation he can learn from both Nichols and um, Marshall this upcoming season as a true freshman. And also they picked up a good offensive tackle and Austin Clark, six foot six, two hundred and ninety six pounds. He was the number thirty nine offensive tackle according to ESPN. Those are some their top of recruits that they're entering this upcoming season. Now this year I think they're definitely going to improve again, and I think they're going to go eight and four this year. But not make it to the ACC championship. They could, could cause some problems. Their first game is against Ohio State, and that is going to be a revenge game for the Buckeyes. But we will see. They could possibly pull the upset again. This team could definitely get their act do, do, do well and beat problems. But if they if they have their offense um uh, to get to if they get things together on the offensive side with quarterback Michael Brewer, I think he could be due for a good season. Like I said, just need to do a better job with his decisions. Now the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have one. One more blog for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.